Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you 5 different ways to iterate over a hash set in Java. Alright, so the first way is using enhanced for loop, second way basic loop with iterator, third way while loop with iterator, fourth way java8 for each method with lambda expression and fifth way is java8 streaming uh, with for each with lambda expression. Alright, so these are the 5 ways we can use to iterate over a hash, a hash set. Alright. So let's go ahead and let's see each of them with an example. So let us see how to iterate over a hash set using enhanced for loop first. So before that, let's create a set of courses. So let's use a type as string here. I'm going to give a reference as courses, and here we are going to use hash set. Okay, and let me quickly create few courses. So here Java. C, C++, Python and Scala. Alright, so these are the four five courses we have added to the courses set. So now let's use a enhanced for loop to iterate over a set. It's pretty simple. Use a for loop and here we are going to use string and course. Here we are going to use courses. Okay, and here just put the sys out and just print the course to the console pretty simple right so using enhanced for loop is pretty simple okay so let's go ahead and let's run this program and look at here the output okay so this is how we can use enhanced for loop to iterate over a hash set all right so let us see the second way the second way is using basic loop with iterator it is pretty simple so use for and here in eclipse you can find the shortcuts here so just choose iterate over a collection and this will give you a syntax and here just refactor it and here we are going to print course to the console like this it's pretty simple right and here it's a generic so let's go ahead and let's provide a type as a string here it's pretty simple right so let's go ahead and let's run the program and here we go so here is the output okay so it's pretty simple using for loop with iterator now let's see how to use a while loop with iterator to iterate over a hash set so let's use a while and here choose iterator with iterate with iterator okay and this will give us syntax and here we need to first create a iterator like this and provide iterator to the while loop like this and here we need to give a type as a string and here just to refactor this uh, you know reference name as a course and here we are going to print to the console like this pretty simple right so using while loop with iterator is pretty simple so let's go ahead and let's run the program yeah here we go here is the output okay now the next way is using jdk8 for each method with lambda expression this is a very simple and if you are using java 8 then i highly recommend you guys to use this syntax so first let's get the courses dot for each and here what we'll do we'll just provide a course and this is the syntax for lambda expression and give us this out here and just print to the console so look at here how the code looks like all right and one more thing is set interface it extends internally uh, collection and collection interface extends iterable interface and iterable interface provides a for each method so look at here for each all right so set method uh, internally indirectly extends iterable interface so set can able to use this for each method so that is what we are using here okay it's pretty simple right so let's go ahead and let's run this program and let us see the output so here is the output all right so let me comment out so that you will understand so i will i just commented out the existing code and here i am going to just run the program again and you will see the output yeah here we go okay so this is how we iterate over a hash set using java 8 for each method with lambda expression so let us see the next way to iterate over a hash set so next way is using java stream api with for each method and lambda expression all right it's pretty simple let's go ahead and let's convert set into stream first 
and stream provides a filter method so we can use it and we can apply some filtering conditions on top of stream here so i'm going to apply some condition like i'm going to exclude some course from the courses so i'm going to exclude java course from the courses so let's see how to write the condition for that so i'm going to say not java dot equals and here i'm going to pass a course okay and that's it and uh, once i exclude this course i'm going to just iterate over a stream and i'm going to print courses to the console so let's use for each method and inside that let's write a lambda syntax and let's print out the courses to the console like this it's pretty simple right so what we have done we have converted set into stream and we have we have used filter method to apply some condition like this we have excluded course from the courses and then we just use a for each method to iterate over a, set, uh, a stream and we have printed courses to the console like this okay so let's go ahead and let's run this program and let us see the output so look at here the output java is excluded from the courses list okay all right so these are the five different ways to iterate over a hash set so let me recap one more time so we have used enhanced for loop to iterate over a hash set we have used basic loop with iterator and we have used while loop with iterator and we have used java 8 for each method with lambda expression and we have used java stream api with for each method with lambda expression all right so these are the five ways to iterate over a hash set so if you are using java 8 then i highly suggest you guys to use a lambda expression and stream apis uh, so it will provide some functional programming all right so try to use ja lambda expressions and stream apis whenever you use java 8 in your project or programs all right i hope you found this video tutorial useful subscribe to our youtube channel so that whenever we will publish a new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video